everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add this beautiful border to your projects. So it will work with any project, blanket, scarf, whatever you want to add a border to. And it is a really, really simple one. It's just a bit of a mix and match of a couple of the other borders that I already have on my channel. But this is how I finished off that beautiful moss stitch square blanket and you still get these beautiful crisp sharp corners but just with a little added detail I think it actually finishes off this blanket really beautifully but obviously it will work wonderfully for any blanket at all. Also just before we jump in if this is your first time visiting make sure that you click the subscribe button and the little bell icon to receive notifications so that you never miss a tutorial. But also remember that this isn't my only channel, I do also have an extra channel which will be linked in the description box where you can find all sorts of yarn reviews, information, inspiration, all that type of stuff. So make sure that you check that out as well. So I'm just going to be doing mine around this small sample piece and obviously I'm going to be using a separate colour just like I did for the larger blanket that I showed you. So to start off you want to start by just doing a round of moss stitch around your whole project. So starting anywhere on your project, you'll insert your hook, you've got a slip knot on your hook, you'll insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. And that is going to count as our first double crochet. So remember I always use UK terminology so whenever I say double in this video if you're used to US terms then that is your single crochet. So we're going to chain one because we're starting straight away with a moss stitch. So obviously I'm working around a moss stitch square so I don't need to place my stitches as such but if you're working around a random stitch blanket then just evenly space your stitches all the way around. If you're working along an edge that has got obvious stitches, so the top or the bottom, then obviously it is just a chain one, skip a stitch, do a double, chain one, skip a stitch, do a double. But as you work down your sides, obviously you just have to go with your gut, as it were, and just place your stitches nice and evenly. So we've got a double, chain one, double in the next, chain one, skip a space, double in the next, chain one. When you get to your corners you will always want to do a double, chain two and a double back in the same corner space and that will keep your corners nice and sharp and then again as you work down the sides just place them as you need to so double, chain one, skip a space and double. So if you work that moss stitch all the way around until you have got it right back to where we started from. I'm back round to where we started from, I've just got one more double crochet to do. Before you fasten off to the beginning of the round always make sure that you do your final chain one and then slip stitch to the top of that standing double that we did at the beginning of the round. Make sure you go through the whole of the stitch and slip stitch so yarn over and pull through both. So that is your first round of moss stitch done for your border. Now you can add as many rounds of moss stitch as you like. For this one I did one, two, three, four, five rounds of moss stitch but you can do as many or as few as you wish. So to start up your next round of moss stitch you'll simply turn your work and you've got a chain one space straight away right here and you'll work your double crochet straight into that space. You might want to pop a stitch marker in just to know where to finish as you come back round. Chain one. Now obviously your moss stitch will be much easier on this round because you have already got all of your chain one spaces. So chain one, skip the double and then double crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip the double, double in the, in the chain one space chain one and then I'm at a corner so your corner will always be double, chain two and double straight back in that same corner space. So if you continue your moss stitch again all the way round and I'll meet you in just a second. 
Again, I've gone all the way around. I've done my last double crochet in that chain one space. I've got a double crochet here to skip. So I'm gonna always make sure that you do your chain one and then slip stitch to the first double of the round. Okay, so ignoring my tail here, that is how you should be looking. It should stay nice and flat and nice sharp corners. Now you can repeat that last round as many times as you want. As I say, I did five rounds of normal moss stitch on the blanket that I showed you, but I'm going to skip ahead now to the round um, where we get these nice little peephole spaces, if you like. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm going to turn my work and straight into that very first chain one space. I'm going to yarn over and pull up and yarn over, pull through both loops and then I'm going to do another stitch so I'm going to insert my hook into the back of that loop yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through both and that just gives us a treble height stitch but without doing a chain two and then chain one skip the double so we are basically doing a moss stitch round again but we're just doing bigger stitches so now we're going to be doing a round of treble crochet so instead of doing double crochet chain one we're going to be doing treble crochet chain one but do remember again that is a UK treble in the US these are your double so you want to yarn over skip your double as normal and into your chain one you'll do a treble crochet so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain one skip the stitch treble into the next chain one space so yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one, treble in the chain one space. I'm at my corner space now, but your corner space will be worked in the exact same way, but with trebles instead. So into your chain two space, you will do a treble, a chain two, and then back into your same corner space, you'll do another treble chain one and then again work down your sides doing a treble crochet moss stitch and you'll just continue that again all the way around and I'll meet you in just a second. I'm just working my final treble there and then I'm ready to do my chain one and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that treble that we did at the start of the round. So that is how you should be looking at the end of that round. So, so again, you should be ignoring my tails, you should be nice and flat. And then we've just got one final round to do now. So as you can see, we have one final round after that little peephole round. And again, you're just going to turn your work and then straight into that chain one space. Obviously the chain one spaces feel much bigger now because of the bigger stitches. You'll do a double. So US single, chain one, and you're just going to do one final round of moss stitch. So chain one, double crochet in the chain one space, chain one, double crochet in the chain one space. So you're just going to finish with one final round of traditional moss stitch. And then again, your corners will always be a double, chain two, and double in the same space. But you should be able to work that now all the way around and I will meet you one final time as you get to the other side. So always make sure you do that final chain one before you're ready to close off for the round. And then that is your border complete. So again, your corners should stay nice and crisp. Your work should stay nice and flat and that is how you should look at the end of it all. So I really do hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But I will see you for another tutorial really soon. Bye for now.